Hi family, this is Miss Norma. This is our reading for May the 29th, and it's titled, A Voice Behind Me. Our scripture lesson is Isaiah 30 and chapter 21, and it reads, Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your eyes will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. Amen. Amen. Welcome everyone. Good evening. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing. Thank you for your comments and your love. Thank you for just being a part here of our YouTube channel. By your grace, the Lord continues to keep each and every one of us. Amen. Um, let us pray. Abba Father, I just want to say thank you for my YouTube family and friends. I want to thank you, Lord, for seeing us through the weekend, Lord. Father, I um, just want to just thank you for the traveling that's going on, um, the, the um, auto services around the country have been saying how much traveling was going to be done during this holiday weekend. And they said something like 37 million people would be moving around, going places, planes, trains, cars. But Lord, thank you. I know here on the East Coast, we had beautiful, beautiful weather the entire weekend. So thank you, Abba Father. Those who have been experienced traverse weather, Lord, especially down in the Carolinas, Lord, um, just be merciful and gracious, Lord, and we pray that there is not a lot of damage or thunderings and lightnings and incidents that may have happened, Father. Thank you for keeping us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our reading for May 28th is, again, A Voice Behind Me. It says, Have you ever heard someone give a testimony and say, God spoke to me and said, if you are a Christian or if you have been around Christians long enough, you may have heard that statement at least once. I used to wonder why when I prayed or asked God for signs, I never heard his voice, ever. I began to chalk it up to others having a better relationship with God than I did before something quite curious happened. A year ago, I was about to make a really bad decision in what can only be described as presumption. I declined to pray about it because I already knew I was in the wrong. That night, I had one of the most vivid dreams of my life. In the dream, I saw the direct consequence of the action I was about to take. I even heard a voice saying to me, don't do it. I woke up in a cold sweat. Could that be the voice of God? As a self-proclaimed modern woman, not given to the traditional Caribbean emphasis on the significance of dreams, I shrugged it off as, just, as being just a result of an overactive conscience. Ignoring the warning I had been given yielded the exact results I saw in the dream. I realized then that God had spoken to me, but in not recognizing his voice, I chose to ignore it. Since then, I've come to realize that God speaks to each of us in a different way, in different ways. And every time since then, I have perceived God speaking to me through that gut feeling, my conscience. The Bible says in John 10, 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. As Christians, as followers of Christ, we must be able to not only recognize God's voice speaking, but also heed his wisdom when he gives it to us. Amen. As the ever-loving Father, he only desires our good and wants to give us direction. 
while we may never be able to say that we have heard an audible voice telling us which path to take through dreams from a friend a bible passage and yes through our very consciences we can still hear god's voice behind us saying this is the way walk in it amen isaiah 30 verse 21 and that's the old testament amen and our reading for may the 28th a voice behind me was written by olivia d valentine amen amen thank you abba father for this lesson lord a lesson lord that will help us to know when you are speaking to us and it may not always be audible lord and we realize that father but i thank you lord for the lesson that you have blessed us to hear this evening lord and to realize that you do talk to your children that you will lead us and guide us if we listen father lord thank you for early morning prayer thank you lord for not looking at my phone or anything until i have talked to you thank you lord to my family and friends lord who may have adopted that same um, mindset lord and endeavor to talk to and endeavor to talk with you before they talk with anyone else i thank you for the sharing that takes place here I thank you for the prayers, Lord, and the prayer time, 12 noon, 12 a.m., or any time in between when any of our prayer warriors here think about the requests here on this channel, or maybe some requests of their own that they haven't shared, Lord, but they think about them and they pray at the appointed and anointed times. Lord, any time to talk to you is the best time of the day. Thank you, Abba Father, Abba Father, for unity in our prayer time. Thank you for the blessing and healing, Lord, of little Annie and all the other little Annies and Andrews out there. Thank you for blessing those families with strength and fortitude and your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord, for families who are hurting as, as a loss has occurred and their family, Lord. We know that we are praying for one of the prayer warriors on another um, prayer team that I'm on, Lord, that lost a family member, Lord, to suicide. Oh, Father, how sorrowful and how dreadful that type of news can be. Lord, just continue to heal us and let us pray much for one another, Lord. For you are God and there is none else, Lord. And Father, speak to our hearts, speak to our minds, speak your truth to us, Lord, so that we know always, Father, that we can trust you. We may not be able to trust each other, but surely we can trust you. So thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, it's so sweet. We can trust you with all of our secret thoughts as well. Things that we don't readily share with others, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being our hiding place. Amen. Amen and amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Family, by his grace, I will see you later on. I'm going to post up the video, and um, I'll see you, I guess, again in the morning hallelujah hallelujah amen i love you and good night and remember the lord jesus christ loves you the best and the most and rest wherever you are good morning good afternoon good evening or good night amen family i love you amen <laughs>